Okay, hi there, my name's Mark. I'm Tom. And it's another Saturn product review. It's another Saturn product review. And we've got a few things lined up on the table today. Uh, we've got um, some cups and balls. Some we've cups. got some bar bets. We've got some talk about uh, 15 pound notes. Luke Jamay, and we'll finish off with- With Priceless. With Priceless from yeah. Richard Sanders. So let's crack on. Uh, the first thing we've got here is these cups and balls. Uh, cups and balls is a staple of magic, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of those things that you might think, well, I don't really know if I want to do that. But if you learn how to do cups and balls, you can do vanishes. And I was going to say, the reason that I originally took the time to learn a very basic cups mm -hmm. and ball routine is it teaches you everything from controlling the audience to controlling mm -hmm. angles to, to offbeat moments, which is impossible to teach, if that makes sense. Yeah, loading things. Loading things, the confidence of holding mm -hmm. things out. Um, and it's a full routine for three or five minutes yep. sort of thing. So. Prince Charles knows the cups and balls, that's how. Yeah, he passed his audition to the Magic Circle with the cups and yeah, balls. Yeah, but come on, I mean, you're not going to say no to him. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry Prince, but uh, uh, you, good didn't, you didn't really get in. Yeah, I'm imagining so, that he did, he did I'd it. I'd love to have been there and seen it to see how good it actually was. Yeah, well, it must have been brilliant, it must have been. Yeah. Um, it's not like he does yeah. anything else, he's got a bit of practice. It's not like he's practicing and then has to he get to work and that. go to a gig. He's giving royal visits oh, every day of the Whatever. <laughs> Oh, you'll get us. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get in trouble now. That's our royal appointment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're already so off. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Never mind. So, uh, Simon Cowell and I've won against you. You're never going to get on Britain's Got oh, Talent. That's true. Right. So, this one that we're talking about. Uh, the reason why we think this is so good is that you get a DVD. Two DVDs. Um, which, um, yeah, two DVDs actually, mm -hmm. um, which teaches you all about the cups and balls and how to use them. Plus, you get a set of cups and balls. Now, we've got two cups here on the table. You see, one's a little bit bigger than the other. This is a normal, what I'd consider to be a normal size. Um, standard size standard cup. Standard size cup yeah. from a cups and balls set uh, in the aluminium kind of range. This is the size that you get with this set, so a fraction smaller. Um, if we talk about the price, actually, uh, while we're here, this is $22.99 for the three. double DVD. Three cups. For three cups and the balls. And the balls. Uh, which is... A bargain price, really. Yeah, they are they're, aluminium as well. They're not. Plastic. They're aluminium cups, but they're plastic balls, not crochet balls, right? Which doesn't make yeah. a difference unless you because they're not chopped. No, they're so, not chopped. Really. They are good quality aluminium, yeah. and they're bigger than they look. You get final loads in. Yeah, and the reason why we've got the two cups here is the final loads that I use in my because uh, that's one of my cups. Uh, the final loads I use is actually uh, in here. We got a baseball. And I think you've got the football in your pocket. I have, you? I have. I was going to load it in. I was going to, I was going to do a little cups of ball routine, yeah, but you've but, kind of killed that. But the, yeah, but the baseball and the and the thing that I like about these, and I'm even considering going over to these myself because when you look at that cup being a bit higher, I think it looks a little bit more impossible actually when you're using a small no, cup. This is my thing for now. I use I do fireballs. I don't do cups mm. and balls anymore. I do Gary Jones's fireballs. And my thing with the funnel load is the funnel load should always look like it's too big. For the cup, yeah. So I mean that, like you said, that looks like it shouldn't come out. Well, actually, when that ball's in front of that cup, now yeah. you, you look at it, it's. Well, that's the image I always wanted. When I did cups and balls, yeah. the image I wanted to leave is you got one on top, so it looks too big, yeah. and one in the front. Especially that's why fruit's good, isn't it? Because yeah. you can angle fruit, but fruit goes mouldy. Yeah. Brilliant. So you, you probably would struggle struggle with a reasonable size apple. Well, you wouldn't get a reasonable size apple in there. No. Either, oranges, you get oranges in limes, um, but it's a good set. Um, it's very good set. For the only thing, the only thing I'll knock it for is it's got plastic balls as opposed to crochet balls. But is a spectator going to say well, those balls should be <laughs> crocheted? <laughs> and they look like crochet balls. They sort of finish on them, but they're not crocheted. A crochet ball is such an alien thing. Have you ever seen one before? No, exactly. Yeah. If you have a ball that looks like it's crocheted, but it's rubber and plastic, the audience would go, oh, so it's a bouncy ball. Yeah. When you hand out a crochet ball, they're like, well, this is different, yeah. but this is made. You could put something in that. Mm -hmm. so they, may not, yeah. they may not put that together, but yeah. I mean, I, I use um, bits of paper because it's mm -hmm. fireballs, but yeah. So basically what we're saying, it's a good value set, teaches you the cups and balls. It's a good inroad into uh, uh, palming, Handling, confidence, you know, magic, false, false yeah. transfers, all this sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, I think the days have so gone. Different. You hear old stories or you read old books where people used to get together and jam cups of balls. I think, I think mm -hmm. those. I mean, Brian Watson's your man, isn't he, for cups mm -hmm. and balls? Um, so if you're really interested in advanced stuff, go to him. But to learn the basics or to buy it as a gift, um, yeah, check it out. Yeah. Um, so that's the uh, cups and balls set. It's on the front of the website at the minute, uh, but it's by uh, Eddie Ray. Uh, so check that out, it's only $22.99. For both. For, for a full set. Good. 
Okay, that's long on the table. Um, he's, told my set. he's told me off. Apparently, <laughs> when we edit the show, because we stand differently, he can't line it up. So I'm going to really annoy you. Yeah, you have a look because we're, we're, <laughs> we're being posh in this uh, green screen that we're Space using, station. which doesn't look green to you, obviously. But the no. fake desk that we have in front of us. If we see the different depths, you can see that it really, really, really messes things thing. up, apparently. So. Um, anyway, yeah, it's all a bit of fun, anyway. Uh, so we've had these made. Now, we've mentioned these in a few of our emails out to people. These are our Tyvek uh, 15 pound notes for use in the split trick by the, the French guy. Trick. Um, you can see. Not the French twins. No, no. <laughs> he's a French guy, isn't he? can't remember his name. Uh, but 15 pound note. Uh, nicely made by uh, Steve Rowe. Steve Rowe, friend of the show, Steve Rowe. Um, who's Mag made, magical leg legend now, yeah, Steve Rowe. He's made these for us. Uh, we've got two sets available. The reason why we had them made, actually, to start with, is the note that you get with Split is a £30 note, which to make the gimmick, then, you have to use a £20 note to complete the gimmick. £10 pound note, yeah. Uh, and a £10 note, which you would then split into 30 which, it's not being tight, but it's being reasonably cost effective for, for the price of these this particular set i'm holding now at uh, 3.99 uh you've got two 15 pound notes and we'll talk about what's on the reverse in a minute but you've got two 15 pound notes you've got a replacement one if it does wear out or get damaged or something um which means you're only tying 10 pounds up because you're using a 10 to 5 uh, so it's cheaper to use basically yeah uh, so you've got the 15 pounds on one side uh, and on the reverse side if you didn't want to use the 15 pounds uh, we've got a Debenhams receipt, uh, which you can split into a 10 to 15, uh, and also a child's drawn hmm. 15 pound note. So you can say times are hard, the kids may be some money because they thought I needed some. Yeah, the, the uh, child's notes are really good, kids' notes. He's, Steve Rose has been doing yeah. kids' notes for a long time and they're really, really nice, really yeah. good fun. So, so, so in this set, 3 99 you get the two notes with the three different options. Uh, obviously, you can only use one option at a time because if you stick your ten-pound note to the kid's side, you obviously can't use that. You can only use the side that you choose. So we should have done that. We should have done one that was just the fifteen, so it's blank on the other side. What, like uh, like that one there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, again, I know what magicians are like. They'll say, like with the split set, there's tons of notes in there that I'm never going to use, and I've paid for them which annoys people, which, to be honest, it would have cost them more to have had an English set, a Absolutely, set, yeah, and, come on, he's, yeah, come uh, An American set, yeah. yeah. But people think the magic world is huge, it's not, it's a very small market, uh, and to make 10 different uh, Bespoke, small, sets it's small for, run products. different countries would, yeah. would just be yeah. ter terrible. Um, whereas the cost of 10 of these notes, all in one bundle, mass produced like they did, it would have made next to no difference whether they'd included one or two or ten. Yeah, no. Once it, you've got, once you've, once you've got past a certain number, mm -hmm. it doesn't. Anyway, anyway, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's, that's we understand these production costs, but uh, we do now. Yeah, we do now. <laughs> it's been a steep learning curve. Uh, so uh, this one, so that's three ninety nine for the double sided set, or you get two of these if you just want to use the fifteen pounds for two pound fifty. Uh, you get um, just blank on the back because that's where you stick your. Uh, your stuff too. Uh, so that's the Tyvek notes. Uh, these ones I should mention, we do mention it in the ad copy actually, they're not waterproof. Tyvek isn't normally waterproof. Uh, well, the Tyvek is waterproof, the print on Tyvek isn't normally waterproof. Uh, you need a waterproof printing process to do that, of which the split ones are. But saying that, are you really going to start washing them under the tap? I, I do <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, Steve's been making these like this for forever. Yeah, uh, and he said he's never had any problems with. Um, oh, well, look at it. Playing yeah. cards, playing cards aren't waterproof. No, if you, you can handle a deck of cards and work gigs and yeah. bars, nightclubs, weddings without getting your cards destroyed, mm -hmm. you should be able to look after them. Don't get me wrong; everybody has had that spectator that's managed to find the one wet patch, and we've all done it. But but you're not putting these down when you're no. forming. You're doing it in your hands. As long as your hands aren't soaking wet. Yeah. Then and there is, there are certain ways of making it waterproof. So if you really need to, yeah, yeah, it's, but it's not the end of the no. world. And it's a very cheap way of constructing your gimmick for split. It looks good as well. Mm -hmm. It's a fifteen pound note. It's a nice mm -hmm. um, hook. Is the word I'm not that? Yeah. What's that thing that pulls people in? Hook. Yeah. Someone did mention uh, which, when you look at the split notes themselves, they're not totally crisp in the printing. Um, and people like have looked at this and said, "Oh, it's not totally crisp. It's not like a real note." But the, the thing is, when you print on Tyvek, yeah, it isn't like printing on real paper. You can't get nice sharp images like on photo paper or on just normal A4 paper because it's I don't know whatever it's made of. Whereas it's, it's 
is. Um, um, you can't get a 100% crisp image. But then again, it's not supposed to be real. No. Um, you know. So it's a dodgy look. It's supposed to be dodgy. <laughs> What's the word? Tyvek is interlaid. That's what it isn't written. Papers yeah. like that. Tyvek's mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Science. Science. Yeah. But anyway, these, these are getting really good uh, feedback. So yeah. if you've not, exactly you not checked them out, they do the job. Uh, so you check, use them? Yeah, I'll use them. Yeah. So yeah. check them out on the website. And also, if you bought Split from us, uh, the bonus page has been recently updated with some extra tips and information. Um, I'm not cutting my note anymore, I'm just keeping it intact. So if you want to check that tip out, get on the bonus page. The uh, password for the bonus page New tease. is the part number on your invoice. There we go. Okay, and um, if you didn't buy Split from us, why didn't you buy Split from us? Let's uh, not be that, let's not be those guys. But. Uh, <laughs> We'll be good guys because you've watched the show. Uh, if you email us saying, I'm sorry I did not buy Split from you, but here is the password which is given on the, um, inside the trick, if you know the name. And with it, inside the booklet. Up, yeah. uh, inside the little booklet thing, there's a password which gains you access to the um, tutorial. If you email us saying, sorry we didn't buy Split from you, but we'd love to see your bonus handling. Email us with that and the password so we know that you've got Split and we'll be generous and let you have the password. Wow, okay. There we go. You are in a good mood. <laughs> so there we go, that's that's just a little bit of a little bit of an add-on for split. Okay. Okay, next Tom. Is learn and master bar tricks. Now, because we go away together a bit and we go to conventions and stuff, I haven't been allowed to watch this, so Mark has got one, two, three, 25 different ways of getting a point off me when we go out. <laughs> Um, so you better explain this because I haven't been allowed to watch it. No, so what this is... Where's it come from? It's not new, is it? Is no, it? it's Simon Lovell. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully people uh, know who Simon Lovell yep. is. He's well respected and um, got a very unusual characterism. He has, and he's got a very unusual mind as yeah. well. So a uh, great sleight of hand person. But this is totally different from Simon Lovell. It is what Tom just said. Is it 25? 25, yeah. 25 different ways. So if you're down the pub and um, maybe you've done some magic for people or even if you're just down the pub, and you say to someone, um, uh, I bet you can't do whatever. Uh, and they say, uh, they have a go and they can't. And you say, I bet I can. And they say, oh, go on then. So, well, will you buy me a pint if I can do it? It's 25 ways to basically win a pint in that kind of situation. So it works better if they don't know you're a magician as well? Yeah, I suppose it would, so, yeah. But uh, it's, it's, it's like the old games where you say, I'm going to, where you make a hole in the paper and so say, I'm going to push this point through that hole, that sort of thing, and they can't do it and you can. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's 25 different ways. Uh, there's so there's different 25 ways of making yourself look smug. <laughs> or winning a pint. Or winning a pint. Uh, but you wouldn't do all 25 ways. No, you can't handle four pints. Yeah. I don't 25. You wouldn't, do 25 <laughs> you wouldn't do 25 for these in one go. It's the sort of thing you might, might do once or twice in an evening just to have a bit of fun, basically. It's a really good gift as well, isn't it? For yeah. students, for yeah. friends. Like for non-magicians, it's a really yeah. good gift. Um, also, yeah. for like clubs, if you have a raffle or something and you want to donate a prize to your magic club, uh, it's actually yeah, well. something unusual that you can put in there. You know, we talk about if you do a residency or if you do yeah, like a residency, it gets to the point where my residence is now. There's people that I see week in, week out, and they don't even want to see magic anymore. They just call me over, I high five the kids, we have a chat, see how we're going. This sort of thing where you would get them thinking. Mm. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's something like that. So, there's definitely um, use for it for me as well. I, I mentioned a couple of them to Tom. There's, there's, there's one trick on there about folding a bit of paper, which you can only fold a paper, piece of paper so many times. S six times, I think. Uh, isn't before it, I think. you just cannot fold it anymore. And you say to someone, I bet I can fold it at least 12 times. And they say, No, you can't, because they've just tried it and they can only do it, say, six. Um, and then you do do it more than 12 times and they, they, have, to buy you a they have to buy you a drink. Yeah. Uh, there's another one which I particularly like on there which is um, a paper clip floating on water. Uh, so you, you're not allowed to bend or deform the paper clip that goes on the water uh, and you have to be able to get the paper clip to float on the water on its own, nothing holding it up or anything, just normal glass of water. Uh, so of course they try it and the paper clip will not float. I thought I'd crack this one as well, yeah, but no. But no, you're not allowed to bend the clip in the <laughs> way. It's got to be as it was, the clip that's going to float, as, 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 as it in. was. And uh, you've got to float the paper clip on water. And sure enough, when they can't do it, you bet them a pint or a drink that you can do it. Hopefully they bet you and uh, sure enough, you can float. And it's quite simple how it works when you know. Um, they're all simple when you know. Yeah, so there's so, 25 different ways of winning a pint like that. So, um, how much is it? This is uh, 15 99 
So a little bit different, there's a lot of fun. Yeah, we said we'd try and you know talk about some of the popular stuff that's coming out, but also mention a few things which we like, which are not in the mainstream view, uh, which we think that you'll like. Yeah, because I'm guessing like me, you get a lot of emails from magic stores and it's always the same four products every, Each week, every yeah. week. Mm -hmm. So we're obviously doing those, but we're also looking at stuff that's uh, a little bit different or stuff that's older. Yeah, um, the, the ultimate four card trick went down really well. Yeah, really well. Everyone, everyone that bought that, I hope you're really, really working that because mm -hmm. we gave it a really honest review. There's no way that that, that had just gone underneath everyone's radar. But mm -hmm. we reviewed it, people bought it, and hopefully you're already working it because it's so simple. Yeah. If you didn't see that, check out last week's show. Yeah, ultimate four card trick. Okay, so there we go. Bar tricks. Tricks. Bar tricks. Check that one out. Okay, uh, if you watched the show last week, we did it very late. Because we it was um, vanishing box, vanishing ring had just come in, yeah. and I was uh, I was poorly. Um, told Mark that I shouldn't be here, and then what happened the next day? I couldn't get off the sofa. Yeah. I had to cancel gigs and everything. Glandular fever relapse. Um, but back on track. So now you've finished feeling sorry for me. Last week we were going to review um, Luke Jamey's new box set, and I hadn't had time to watch all of it, and I didn't want to give it a substandard review. Um, I have now subsequently watched all of it. I've watched some of it twice. Um, where to start? So this DVD set is not going to turn you into the next Luke Jumet. But it's going to let you have a little insight into the way that his mind works um, and the effects on there, the principles are so simple that when you watch the performance, I mean this happens when you watch Luke Jumet anyway, mm -hmm. When you watch Luke perform, you start to think, even though you know, you start to think, well, he must be a mind reader. <laughs> he must actually have some sort of powers. And then when you see the way that it's done, you just you feel like you've just found out Father Christmas isn't real again. It is it just kicks you in the you face. Can't say that, you you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Hot twist. Um, but it's, what, it's just yeah. so simple. What, so what gets me with this when I when I was watching it is and um, because I'm, more, I'm a magician, not a mentalist. And a lot of magic explanations, they give you the secret section straight away because they know that a magician, when he opens up his trick, he wants to know how it works yes. straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they do a little secret section to start with and then say, keep watching and you'll get more detail yeah. on how to do it. Now, I do wonder sometimes whether that's a bad thing because most magicians will just watch the secret section and then say, oh, I don't need to watch, watch the rest. Yeah, and, and then, then they'll perform the trick once and we'll come, come to that in a minute. And then so they'll, they'll go to forums the complaining that it yeah. doesn't work because yeah. they haven't watched all the instructions. Um, so there's sports and against doing that. Um, but, but I found myself watching this in a similar kind of way because you go on to an effect that you're interested in. And he talks for ages about his build-up and why he yeah. does this and why he does that. And if the person does this, you do that. And I'm thinking, what's the method? Tell me. Ah, see, you're looking at it all uh, wrong. It's not about yeah. them. That proves the point. It's not about the method. This is... Um, it's about the hows and whys. And it turns a basic Q&A, a question and answer mm. session, into a brilliant personal reading for that person that the audience gets behind. Um, there's everything from drawing duplications, which are so such a clever way of doing it, to us, uh, the simple, um, basically a... a a marked card routine, but rather than just revealing the card, he does it in a way where you are able to give a full reading about that person's relationships, job, wealth, and future ambitions without needing to look at the card. It's, it's mm -hmm. so clever. It's um, it's one of the master classes as well in how to treat your audience. Mm -hmm. If you watch this, watch the way that Luke handles spectators, the way he gets them on stage, the way he deals with them when they're on stage. He instantly puts them at E. I mean, they're going up and they believe, as do I when I'm watching it, they believe that he's going to get inside their head. And he does stuff with secrets and stuff. So he's asking them to take a massive chance and, and give up this information. And he gets them on stage. He promises them the information is going to be safe. Mm -hmm. Um, he's really good at doing things as well. Like he'll, he'll be talking away, be revealing stuff, and then he'll say um, something along the lines of, "There was that incident, though. That I won't tell them, but there was that incident that you're trying to forget, and just little things like that." So they go white, and their husbands looking at them like, "What's going mm -hmm. on?" Um, if you're interested in doing a propless mentalism act, um, it's not actually that's not really fair with this, but this isn't propless. But if you're interested in doing it's fairly uh, min min minimal plot, minimalistic plotless, minimalistic uh, plots, spiritual readings. You could go down that line with this stuff as well. Um, 
it's just really, really good. The that's filming the, quality. That's the headline prediction as well. Which oh yeah, you really like, that's your sort of thing. Uh, isn't it? Which so, I liked, and I was thinking, come on, get to the method. And uh, yeah. in, in fact, as you just said, the method was so basic and simple. Yeah. But his whole approach and reasoning behind doing everything was just pure genius. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The filming quality is superb. I think there's four cameras set up. Um, when you're watching it, you're, it's like you're watching a live show on Sky. Like, they'll be him on stage and they'll show audience reactions. Um, the, the, effect, the first effect on there is a, a silent conversation where he asks them, he they gives out the yes and no cards and then asks them a question, they have to think about it and then they select a yes or no and he matches it and then he adds some more cards in like I don't know and I'm not telling. And You always match without, without um, mm -hmm. any sort of cues to each other and you say it's like a warm-up act. Which really makes sense. It's a really nice way he comes out and says, if I was a singer, I'd be out back practicing my, my lines, uh, my scales. If I was an actor, I'd be going through my lines. As a mind reader, you can't do that. And it, it kind of goes in like that. Um, and it's just, that's the first one on there. And it's just so easy to do. When, it, when, it, when I saw the, the main method, I was already on my phone ordering the bits to make it. In fact, the majority of everything's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Um, uh, and it's understanding the psycho psychology. That's it. Now, my worry is that people are going to buy this, watch it once, go out and try and perform it, and, and, and it's not that. You have to look at the bits between the lines, the way you deal with people, the information that you can get. And when you're doing stuff like Luke does, stuff that people believe is real, I think you have to have some sort of thing on your shoulder, like almost like a, a responsibility. Well, it's almost a belief thing as well. I think it, even with magic, they say if you believe the magic is happening in front of you, then that transmits to the uh, person. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, whereas if you just take a trick that you've bought today and go out tonight and perform it, that you haven't had time with the trick to get that belief. No, I mean, I, um, I do voodoo stuff and I do a whole yeah. voodoo show and I physically, yeah, the people believe, actually believe that. Mm -hmm. Same with this, but also when you're doing with stuff, when you're not giving advice, but when you're talking about someone's future or saying that you, or you're giving them a reading, that's a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. Because if people believe you've got these powers and you're saying, oh, I can see that you've been concentrating on your work area, don't let that slip, but do focus more on your social life and your friends. I can see that rates quite low in your balance of time and stuff at the mm -hmm. moment. You have to be careful. It's, it's, you're not just putting a card on the bottom of the deck. You, you yeah, some people really believe in this. Stuff. Yeah. But back to the product itself, really good um, explanations for some really good tricks, but the tricks are the least thing you should get from the DVD. Mm -hmm. um, there's really good performances on there. You could match word for word, but I guarantee you, you don't have the persona to pull it off because it's Luke's individual character that he's worked. I don't know how long he's been doing magic, but he's, he, he talks about when he was 12 and he was doing tricks, card tricks. Mm -hmm. So, And you can tell by the way that he handles billets that he's got amazing sleight of hand skill, which I think people forget about mentalists. Um, D. Christopher's another one. If you ever see D. Christopher and doing a deck of cards when he's had a glass of whiskey, he's, he's on fire. The thing you find as well with these guys is that their, their repertoire is also very tight as well. Because as magicians, we're like finding the new trick for this week. Maybe you've got a residency and you're doing a new trick yep. every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Because you can't do the same trick for the same people that are coming back every week or every fortnight, so you're always learning new stuff. Whereas he's constantly moving on different venues with his act, I bet he yeah. doesn't go to the same pub every week doing his act. He's, no, he's, he's, he's going on doing different shows, so yeah. he's doing the same show week in, week out, so it evolves, he's worked it, you can see he's definitely worked it. And um, because of that, he doesn't need to learn a new trick every week, because it's a new no. audience every week. But he does learn from stuff, so we'll give you yeah. examples of stooging people that then were in the wrong theatre, and yeah. um, there's some really good, pre I don't want to say the word stooge, because that's not fair, stooge to me means that someone's in on it to the point that it's not an effect to them. But the way he does his pre-show is when when the pre-show happens to the person that's been pre-showed, they're just as shocked and impressed as everyone in the room, which really made me, because I avoid sort of mm -hmm. stooging and pre-show, but that really made me think, oh, I could do that and that'll work. Um, so I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, I am, I like to call myself a magical entertainer. So I'm more than just, I don't just do card tricks and coin tricks. I do a lot of readings and mind reading and voodoo based effects. Uh, I don't think I'm, a, I'm a anywhere near a full on mentalist, mm -hmm. but there's definitely stuff here that I can use and will use and get a lot of, of work and ideas and inspiration from. So it was well, I'm really glad I took the time to watch it. Yeah, so it's not a cheap item, it's 58.99. Which is, wow, well, you uh, say that, it's four discs and the normal DVD yeah. is what, 15, yeah. so 20, so. But to lay out all in one go, it's 58.99, yeah. which is a bit of a chunk. 
um, but it's good value and it'll keep you working at it and give you some really good stuff. Yeah, and there's um, a few things you have to build. Now Luke puts his hand up and says he's terrible at arts and crafts. You know I'm terrible at arts and crafts because I get you to make everything. Everything I've seen on there I can make. There we go. So that says a lot. I couldn't even make, well, I could make split, but you made one for me because you're nice like that. But yeah, I'm not even, not even worried about making it. So. so there we go, check it out. Yeah. Premise and premonition. <laughs> Right, okay, finally today. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was pulling face, funny faces at the camera and then he's like to start filming. Yeah. I'm wondering how long this show is going to be actually because we said we'd make it longer because people. Yeah, this is a good show. Too, right? there's some, there's some yeah, good, some good stuff. This so is the bit that everyone wants to finally. see. Finally. Yeah, and it is finally. I feel like this trick has been coming out for months. I've been mm -hmm. waiting so long for this. It is priceless. That has been put out by Michael. Is it Hoot? Hoot? I don't know how to pronounce that. Michael, somebody, really through Richard Sanders, Sanders yeah. And it's through Sanders, so it's through Sanders FX. And uh, if you've watched the trailer, well, I'm sure you probably yeah. watched the trailer, uh, you know what the effect is. If you've watched the trailer, you'll know what the effect is and how it works. Yeah, it's, it's like, no, yeah. no secret. The effect is so good, it's in my coat already. <laughs> and uh, the, the reason why I'm holding these is because on the explanation, he says that if you don't want to use the special pen that he gives you, buy some stickers. Uh, which on our bonus page we've got the website website link yeah. to uh, the place where you can get the stickers. And I've also got another little tip which I'm going to film in a minute after we finish Ooh. this, uh, which will show you um, if you're... Oh yeah, you're handling. Yeah, yeah, that's good. The handling to make it a little bit easier than the handling that he's got there. Yeah. Uh, but these stickers basically means you, means you can use a normal Sharpie pen rather than, than, a... rather than the pen that they give you and just stick them yeah. over the price label. Um, these ones just happen to be the perfect size and colour that blend in. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Really, really well. Perfect. So anyway, so enough of that. We know how it works. We know everyone knows how it works. Everyone knows what it is. You you get the um, you get the tag and you get a couple of the security tag. You get you a get couple the, of price tags. You get the sale one, which you've just seen, which you've just seen, and, and you get a French one. Is it? Is yeah, French? I think it's got a French shop name uh, yeah, on there with, yeah, a, yeah. with a barcode on it. Yeah, uh, which I did wonder why it was French actually because the. I, th I think it's French anyway. Because um, that's where uh, fashion designer shops are, or yeah. they have French names. Yeah, possibly. You don't you don't go to designer shops, do you? No, what socks have I got on today? <laughs> Chewbacca today. Chewbacca socks. <laughs> Case and point. Okay, Mark, so right. does it work well? It does, it works, does the job, it's easy to do. Easy. Uh, anyone, anyone can do we're, we're not going to bother doing it because it just is easy to do. I'm sure 99% of people watching the trailer know how the yeah. effect is achieved. Uh, and that's interesting because we were talking about sales. Some magic tricks sell loads because people want to figure out how it works. It works yeah. This is selling loads because people know how it works. And, and they want know it. they want to use it, yeah. Um, this is, um, because what, they can see it. To throw that word good. around again, this is a worker, isn't it? Absolute worker. Close up stage. It's just, I cannot wait to get this. Any performing. The only situation you couldn't perform this in uh, is probably a walk around cocktail situation. Because if you were the person I was performing for, stood right there, you couldn't really. Yeah, you can. I will. Well, you'd be up here writing it, which you know would be a bit strange. Don't worry, I'll find. I don't worry. <laughs> That's not going to bother me at all. Uh, but I'll, close up at tables yeah. or on stage or parlour or no, whatever, I'll, I'll, absolutely uh, no problem at all. I'm going to walk and do a walk around. Yeah, from the app, absolutely. I wear that long coat, then I so I'll be like, yeah. try this jacket. Anyway, yeah, but you can't do it surrounded, so you couldn't have like a group of people all round here. They it's very be. similar angles to um, ring fly, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think we can fly slightly better if you're wearing a jacket because that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah. wearing angles. No, but as long as people are in front of you, then you yeah. can do it, uh, whatever situation. The only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't do something that Ring Flight Revolution does, but then we looked at it and that would put the production cost stupidly high and you don't need it. That was just me before I'd seen it saying, oh, I wonder if it does that. Yeah, but, and, and the reason I think it passes, because I've done this a few times now, and when I've shown people the tag, I've let them deliberately go for the tag to say, tell me what that says on there. And they get the tag, and if it's not turned around the right way, because it depends, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's only on one of them little plastic um, loops, plastic nylon y yeah. loop things, you know, that you get in shops. Um, they grab hold of the tag and turn it around, or just grab hold of the tag to have, well, if it's facing the way, they can just read it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they do have to turn it around to read the price. But because it's on one of those nylon y loops, I think people naturally think that the tag will rip if they pull it yeah uh, or the loop will break if they pull it so it doesn't 
No, and encourage them to. It's also it's in your personal space. We've talked about this before. Like mm. When you hand out your wallet, people joke as they go for the money, but people don't root through it because mm. it's your personal belongings. So if you're like, oh, just grab that, it's... Yeah, it's your coat. They just yeah, come to it yeah. and just gently turn yeah. it around. So it's the psychology of it yeah. being, being so it, it, it passes and proves yeah. um, pr proves it works. So I haven't worked it yet. I haven't got one. This is my one. Um, I've only just got it. I've only just got it today. Yeah. It's simple to yeah. fit. You fit yeah. it. You fit it in seconds. Seconds and the reset's even quicker. Yeah. So uh, there's a couple of ways to do the reset. I'm going to use the sticker method because I want to use. A yeah, where have they gone? I'm going to have a sheet of those. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use a normal sharpie. As opposed to um, the, the pen that they give you, because it just saves carrying around a, another pen uh, for the cost of what the stickers are. Those stickers are two hundred for a fiver, uh, well, which is yeah. yeah, it's not worth. There you go. No. Uh, and all you do, you do it once, and then just stick another sticker on the top. And then stick another gig. sticker on the top. At the end of the gig, just peel them all off. Yeah. And uh, that's me years. Two hundred <laughs> stickers. Yeah, gigs a year. <laughs> so five gigs a year. That's, that's loads. Um, it's just it's just really really good, isn't it? It seems really, it seems a really brief review in the, the, what we're actually giving it, but there's no point just keep banging on it, about how good it is. It's just what it is. It, it is what it is. If demo. you think you're going to use it, yeah. And let's use this instead of that god awful um, playing card on the back trick. You know where someone goes, oh, oh, I haven't got it, and they turn around and they walk off, and it's on their back. Let's, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, so priceless is forty two ninety nine, uh, which isn't at the cheaper end of releases, but it's at one that. Knowing what this is, yeah. <laughs> uh, something you're going to use, you'll get your money back on this, no problem. Absolutely. Uh, and in fact, I nearly posted something on the forum today. Someone queried the price on the vanishing box at £100. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, as a magic shop, you have to be a bit careful what you type on forums because you don't want to offend people. And so. words are easily yeah. taken out of context. Yeah, and someone said, oh, £100, you know, that's a lot to pay for um, something like that. Which, when you look at it, it isn't when you consider oh, the factory. Yeah, when you actually look at it, it works. Um, but there's barely a magician watching this now that goes out and works. It doesn't work for at least a hundred pounds an hour. Yeah. 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 Doing proper definitely. Gigs. Yeah. When you're looking like yeah. that, uh, so. and considering you're getting a hundred pounds an hour, to spend a hundred pounds on a prop isn't doesn't sound an unreasonable no. amount of money, does it? No. Uh, and this at forty pounds again it might seem a lot for what it actually is, but the actual thinking, the genius idea, the package complete for you, it's it's well worth it. Yeah. So, um, so that's uh, it. That's all we've got to say on it. I mean, so this the least we've said. But so if you perform for people, if you perform for real people, be it in the pub or walk around mm. or stage right. parlor, I am telling you, just get it. It's a good. There's only very few people. Jack, if you're watching this, I know it won't suit you because why would you have security tag in your clothes? Because Jack likes to be. Um, he thinks he's very posh. All right. And he only wears designer, designer London. What's that street in London? They all go wherever it is. He only wears stuff like that and. Uh, it wouldn't suit him. He's probably the only person I know that wouldn't work it. But mm. he's one of those that does the boring stuff at the table. So. And uh, actually, there's one little joke I thought about. If you perform at all at your magic club, for, you know, uh, which a lot of people do, don't they? The mm -hmm. member of magic. Yeah. Club, you can do this uh, at your local club. And I thought of a nice little uh, in gag. You know the guy that produced Steam. Yeah. You could say you bought the uh, jacket off him. What's his name? Alex. Uh... That's, that's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. Really, that, that would get, you a, little, that would get yeah. you a little bit of a laugh with magic goodies, I'm sure. But that's it, that's perfect. Um, yeah. Now you said about forums, I just want to bring this up. Mm -hmm. um, I did a gig today which took me out of my comfort zone a little bit because they told me no fire. Oh I yeah, did, yeah. Uh, Birmingham Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, so some very poorly children. I thought, what can I do that really gets them involved, that's basic, easy them to follow that makes them feel like a hero? And I did Arthur. Now, if you've been watching this show since I've been on it, one of the first things that we did was we did the Arthur deck, where a card selected can be signed, it's stuck back in, then the whole deck sticks, and you can hold the whole deck of cards. It's been loose seconds before by that. You can't pull it out until the child tries, and they can take it out. Um, strange thing to bring back up, but we sold quite a few of those mm -hmm. when it came on the show. Um, and I don't really hear about people working it, but I know that a lot of people tried to sell it second hand, they'd used it once. And I used it for a couple of things, got it, got it filmed, and left it in my bag. And then today, it was the absolute perfect effect for what I needed. So again, on forums, people, you said earlier, people open a trick, they want to know the method, they try it, they don't put any work into it, and then they say it's not for them. So that's just my little bit of advice, really. That trick that you bought, before you knew the method, remember how it made you felt? Yeah. Um, 
because we see these stuff, and we do, and we have this shop. And when you know the method, you think, oh, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And you think, hang on, hang on a minute, just two, been... two minutes ago, yeah. I was ripping this open to get in it. Because you thought it was brilliant. Yeah, so that's just my little bit of advice from someone that sees magic. Mm. I see it twice a week, you see it every single day. Mm-hmm. Try and remember how it made that moment before you knew how it was done. Um, it's not a rant, it's just... It's well, just... Well, you, you'll end up using more of what you buy. If you, yeah, you, yeah, it's better, better for me. You, uh, you're in that mindset, so, uh, which is good. It's like the people that... You get the kids down the uh, Dunar Magic Club, the young lads, and they'll save all their money and they'll buy one trick a month. So they buy, say they buy it week one. By week three, they're still performing it and they know it inside and out. Mm-hmm. Then they buy another trick and they learn it completely. Um, and you get some people that buy loads and never work it. So I would just take your time and enjoy, enjoy the magic of learning it. That's mm-hmm. my little theory anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so there we are. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching this show. Yeah. And um, we'll be back with another with some more releases film, soon. Film Mark special. Uh, yeah, a little bonus special handling. There. Anything else? Is there anything in the pipeline that we're. Uh, yeah, well, there's uh, the French twins. French twins, got yeah. This uh, tea bag trick, tea bag. instant thing. Tea bag by twins, that doesn't sound good. Um, um, no, it does look good, though. Yeah, the trick looks really good. Yeah, it looks good. So that's coming out in less than a fortnight, I think. Anything else? So that's worth looking at. I can't think of anything else, and that's nice because that means sometimes things come out and surprises. So yeah. no, that is that is the only thing that's on pre-order at the moment. So um, well, we shall let you know if that changes. Yeah. Okay. All so right. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.